What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle, where we play indie games every single day so you can find out what's hot and popping on Steam, itch.io, and a myriad of other places. Today we're checking out a colony builder called Stormland. You guys know me right now, I can't help myself. I see a colony builder, I'm like, ooh, do I get to build buildings? Do I get to assign villagers jobs? And I get all sweaty and excited, and so anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight on in and see what's going on. We've got Hook Island, and we've got Alpha Island. This game is an alpha, by the way, in case you didn't know, as denoted by Alpha Island over here. Let's go with Hook Island. That sounds pretty good. Oh, there's our little dudes. They're on a little raft right there. Come on, little guys. Bring yourselves over. It's not much of a looker, but it does seem like there's a lot of stuff on the map. Everything starts with selecting a villager. Use the mouse wheel to go through the list. Oh, okay. So you can select these little guys. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, so we started out with a couple of villagers here. We've got Taku, we've got Awena, and we've got Zarek. Everybody has a little bit of time, and apparently this is turn-based, so that's kind of cool. My initial impressions are pretty, pretty interested in what's going on here. So we've got ourselves like a little island over here. It's not very large. This is a pretty small place to occupy, but it's probably going to be an okay place to start our little tribal home. Uh, we've got a bunch of actions we can do up here. We can plant, we can harvest, we can craft, we can build, we can assign, we can store, we can repair. Okay. I think the first thing we want to do is let's take this dude, and we're going to have him. we got Malachite over there for copper. We've got Shale on that side. We've got a little bit of Pebble right there. It looks like we've got a Crab on that side, but I don't think he's going to be that helpful. I don't think he's going to be that useful. I think we should be able to do something a little bit better. So we've got a Tomato plant over here. Sure, why not? Harvest the Tomato. That took three hours, and so that's actually going to eat up a bunch of his time. He's already, like, done. He's tapped out. He got two hours left, though? Okay. That means I can probably go get another tomato plant right there. It takes two hours to get that. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Grab some more tomatoes. And so the first guy has gathered some tomatoes, which are now inside of what I assume is our stockpile. Let's take a look at the building menu, actually. That's what I'm most interested in. And so we have dwellings over here. We have farming. Oh, what is that? That's a floating bridge. That's kind of cool. Okay. We've got ourselves a campfire over here. It's probably a good idea to get that going, but it looks like we need branches and we need pebbles in order to make that happen. So let's go to our next person. And with our next person, we're going to put her on harvest. We're going to go gather some pebbles. That took two hours. All right, acceptable. On that side, we've also got a dead tomato plant. We've got a flax field on that side. We've got brooms right there. A young fir tree. Yeah, go grab me some fir branches real fast. Are there any other trees around here? Yeah, break off an oak branch, please. I want you to use up as much of your time as possible. You got, like, what, one hour left? Yeah, go ahead and do it. And so that looks good. I don't know if I can put them into time debt for, like, the next part of the turn, but they're all out right now. And so this guy right here, what I want him to do is I want him to build a campfire. We can put the campfire pretty much wherever we want to put it. I'm going to try and find, like, an even spot. We'll put in the campfire right there. And so there goes the objects. They get combined, and we have made ourselves a campfire. Pretty cool. All right, so if I wanted you to craft, can we work on that right there? Oh, we can also make tomato seeds out of some of these other little things. So crafting-wise, we can take vegetables, vegetals, and then we can turn them into seeds if we want. We also have string that we can make out of fibers. Okay. Over here from stone, we can make cob. I guess, which means that we take a rock and straw. I guess we take some clay and some straw and we mix it together. I don't know. I'm not super sure on that one. We've got a rudimentary axe that we can make out of a branch, some pebbles, and some string. We've got fishing hooks over there. We can make all kinds of good stuff in here. We've also got hammocks, which we can make out of string. Sounds like a decent plan. Did that use up all of her time? That must have used up all of her time. So if everybody's tapped out, like, how do I get you to finish this? Yeah, work on the building for an hour. Cool. We have a campfire now. Very good stuff. And we've got a bunch of tomato plants around, too. He's got three hours left. So I'm going to tell him to grab some more tomatoes. And with the one hour that he has remaining, we can get broom branches over there. We can get blackberries. Yeah, grab some blackberries, too. Why not? That sounds like an okay plan. And I think everybody is out of time now. Nobody has any time left. It looks like we've got newcomers, and then new crafting recipes have been opened on up. That looks like fish, and then it looks like Zarek has gotten better. How do I look at, like, their skill sheet? Is that a thing that I can do? His hunger's at 25, he's got survival, he's got woodworking, and he's got farming. Does everybody have different skills? Oh, they do! She's a blacksmith and a woodcutter. He's a farmer and a fisher. He's a farmer, a woodworker, and a survivalist. That's good to know. 
Okay, cool. I kind of like the way this game's unfolding right now. And then when our turn is over, we go ahead and bypass, and we see what comes into play. So hunger right now is at 100. Did they all eat food? It looks like with the food that we gathered. Oh, they get eight hours this time around. Nice. So let's start thinking about the things that we can build around here to make people a little bit more comfortable. I'm thinking a hammock is a really, really good idea. There's not going to be a lot of food left on the island, though. And so with the first guy, he's a farmer. Did the other guy level up farming from, like, working on... Let's go with this dude first. And we'll put him on that. I do wish that this scroll was not open when you were on harvest right there. Uh, it does, it's not necessary. It doesn't need to be up there. They've already got the description, and so it just clogs up the screen a little bit. On this side, we got some blackberries. Let's go ahead and gather those. Yeah, that sounds all right. We've got some blackberries right there. What are these? We've got cotton on that side. That's going to give us fibers. We've got an oak tree right there, but it looks like we have potato or tomatoes back behind that. Okay, sounds good. We've got cattail stalks over on that side that will give us straw. We've also got cassiterite right there. So what do I have going on with my... How do I increase the size of my stockpile? Like, how do I make that happen? So this right here, that's our warehouse. How do I demolish? Because I don't like this warehouse being where it's at right now. Does it cost us time to do this? I suppose not. We'll go ahead and stockpile it out right there because it looks like it's filling up pretty rapidly. It doesn't cost us any time to do that, so why worry about it? Can't do anything with those plants, but he can work on that right there, and he can work on that right there. And so from what I can tell, we can take things and we can plant things. And so we've got grain right there. We've got tomato seeds, and we've got zucchini seeds that we can plant. It might be worthwhile to clear this area out right here and start making a little farming spot. That's what Splatty's starting to think. He's got no time left, though, in the day. And so that takes us over to Awena. Awena's good at chopping wood. And so my thought is maybe start clearing some trees out over here. That sounds all right to me. And then that right there is going to take four hours, but she doesn't have an axe. And so I think it's a really good idea for us to start gathering fibers and some other little things from around to make our lives a little bit easier. That gave us cotton seeds right there, which is good. Got some more blackberries on that side. We've got some fibers from the flax plant right there, and it gives us flax seed. Got broom branch over there. I don't think that's going to be something that I want to focus on right now. Cassiterite and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if the chests are harvestable. That's what I'm really wondering. We've also got some grains right there that we can play around with. Do we have any more flax plants around, or is that pretty much all that we started out with? Eh. A little rough right there. That's okay, though. That's all right. I can live with it. Let's go ahead and grab both these little plants right here, or one of them, I guess. And then this dude's got eight hours left. He's a farmer. And so my thought is that we go back, and we've got cooked fish right there. That's not really going to help. We can spend an hour making tomato seeds, which I think is a really good idea. That gave us three seeds. We can spend their zucchini right there. We can also make string out of fibers. I think that's not a terrible idea. Required skill survival. Oh, he has to do that. Okay, that's cool. Well, then you spend your time just making tomato seeds. Yeah, that'll work. Just keep working on it. I assume that this is going to make him much better at farming. I don't know if that uses up the food. It's entirely possible that that uses up the food like forever. And so let's go to the planting menu. And we do have these right here. So we have tomato seeds. That means that I could technically start planting some crops over here. Nice. Go ahead and do another one too. That sounds good. We got like a nice little tomato field over on this side. I keep wanting to say potato, but then I don't because I'm a noob. What does that do? Oh, it just gives us... Okay, so our food ration. We got three food right now. They should be all right. I don't know if we picked through everything that we've got right now on the island. It looks like we may have. Maybe this stuff will regrow, though. All right. How much food do I have left? We have food rationing right now. We have three food per day that we're trying to eat at the moment. And it looks like maybe people are not quite where they need to be as far as their food allotment goes. However, this island does not have a whole lot of things on it that we can pick through, unfortunately. There's a zucchini over there. I need this guy to focus on making strings. So let's go to the crafting menu. We're going to have him make some strings so we can start making some tools. And so if we've got string around here, yeah, go make some string. It only takes an hour. We only get one string per. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't really that worried about it, but there's our string. I assume that in order to craft some of this stuff, he needs survival skill. 
And so we need a branch, we need a pebble, and we need some other things. We need one string. Okay. Well, then for you today, what I would like to see from you is go ahead and grab me. Let's go to harvest. And we've got some pebbles right there along with granite blocks. Doesn't have the tool equipped. Okay, we'll pick up the pebbles then from this side. We'll grab our pebbles on that other side of the island, and then we'll grab those ones right there too. And so now we've got pebbles, which means I can go back to this guy, and we can start making ourselves some tools. And so I can make myself a rudimentary axe, a rudimentary pickaxe, a fishing hook. We need a shell in order to do that. We need bamboo to get that done in order to make a fishing rod. And to make that right there, we just need five string. We just need a ton of string to get that done. I think it's a good idea to have the hammock right now. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So let's go ahead and get the hammock moving. Do these need to be tended at all? I wonder if these need to be tended. Like if they need to be helped out. So as far as building goes, we can repair, we can recycle. There's elements we can recycle. Oh, we can recycle the crates over there. Those are full, those are full of food. Yeah, recycle the crate. We need the food very badly. Our zucchini situation is pretty dire right now. Like, I'm not trying to be negative about the situation, but zucchini is kind of limited at the moment. And then what we'll do is we'll go back in here. And what I'd like to do is make a hammock, I suppose. So if we've got the hammock right there, yeah, craft the hammock. Although that's going to take four hours, so that's got to wait till tomorrow. That's going to take a considerable bit of... It's going to take a chunk of time to get that done. She's a little bit low on time right now. She's got three hours left. I'm going to recommend that she continues just kind of picking through the area for anything that might be helpful. We got zucchinis over there. So I would take those. We got blackberries on that side. And I'm trying to keep myself fed at the moment. And they are not making it simple for me. This dude's a farmer. And so it's a young tomato plant. Do we have any idea how long that's going to take in order to get done? That's the part that I'm actually kind of concerned about. If I wanted to build a building, does that take any kind of skill? So we've got this right here. It takes seven or, 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 and then for roofing it takes, so that's just a little lean-to right there. This one right here, if we could grab ourselves another one of whatever the hell that is, we could make that. Do we get that from right there? Broom branch? Yeah, grab that. And then we'll build ourselves a building right here. So we've got a tier two building on this side that we could put in. I think it's a really good idea. So I'm going to put that in right there. And then you work on the building as much as possible. See what you can get finished off. Like, I'm not... I'm not thinking there's going to be any miracles. But keeping people nice and warm and taken care of, I think, will help out with our current situation. Because people are looking kind of tired. And so maybe allowing people to rest will make things simpler. Yeah. What does that do? So that's a new crafting recipe. And then we've got newcomers right there. I think that's everybody. He's got an hour left. What can you do with an hour? What can you harvest with an hour? That's all I need from you is for you to spend that one hour in a productive way. Got cotton seeds right there. I'll take it. Next day, let's see how we go on our fourth day of survival. I wonder if new people show up as time goes along. So everybody's food's looking pretty good. I can't really tell what's inside my stockpile right now, which is a bummer. But he's got our survival skill, and I need you to craft gear. So go ahead and make me one of these guys. Yep, I'll take a pickaxe. I will take a normal axe. I think I got those backwards, but that's okay. Uh, we need to catch and harvest some... Yeah, go get go get some shells, I think. Those are pebbles. Those are shells. And those are shells. Uh, we're going to try and get a fishing rod pretty soon so that we can fish. And so we can make our lives a little bit easier there. As far as equipping people goes, I don't necessarily know how to do that just yet. I can distribute tools from right here. All right, he's a survivalist, so let's go ahead and give him drag and drop the tool to its owner. Okay, we'll give him an axe, and then since she's a blacksmith, we'll give her a pickaxe so she can start working on things. Uh, he's now an expert, apparently, at survival, which is great. He's also got some woodworking skill, actually, which is cool, so that helped out a little bit, too. I like the way your people progress, and they get, like, skills, and they get better at stuff as they click on things at the map, and they kind of mess around with the different resources that are available all over. I like that a lot. Seeing as we can't really do much with her right now, there are blackberries to be had. I'm a thanking. You just gather blackberries for right now. I'm just trying to make sure that we have food going on. And then you 
I would like for you to continue working on this building right here. Perfect. And so now we got a little bit of shelter. I don't know like how the rest meter works. But, oh, she's got one hour left? Well, if she got one hour left, go grab another black bear. I'm trying to stay fed right now. I'm not trying to starve to death. This is a terrifying situation for me, and I'm not trying to end up emaciated like a skeleton. I don't know if anything bad's going to happen anytime soon, but it looks like we're making progress, so no harm, no foul. He's still got seven hours left. I assume that that helps out a little bit with something. Now, we could plant some more crops over here, I think. So let's take a look and see... We've got zucchini seeds right there. It would probably be a smart idea to use at least a couple of these to get some seeds and get like a rotation going. We do have blackberries right now, so I don't think our risk of starving to death is too high. That gives us six more zucchini plants to play around with, and I would like those to be over here. Yeah, we'll make like a little farm right there. That looks good. He's out of time right now, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to do much. But one more villager, have no housing, and there's no room to house them. Do you really want to end the turn? I mean, that's been a problem the entire time, hasn't it? I thought that's been an issue since we started, and so... Yeah, do your thing. I mean, I'll build some more shacks or whatever as time goes along. They're going to be tired regardless of what I do. Did anybody get rest? What does that do right there? I thought that maybe made them pass a turn so that their rest meter goes up. But I don't know. Maybe I can actually make them rest and it'll fill out the meter so they can work more. I honestly have no idea. It's possible it'll work like that. These plants are not growing very quickly. Food is shared evenly between them. Yeah, we should have enough food. They ate the rest of the zucchinis that day. But I think we got blackberries around, so we should be all right. He's a farmer, so I'm going to have him gather the remainder of the blackberries. And just make sure that we have food for the day. Otherwise, I've got a feeling bad stuff's going to happen. Grab some broom branch with the rest of your time. And then you, sir. Chop down a tree, I guess? Takes 12 hours to get that done. This villager is too tired to complete the task. Okay. Well, then get started with these trees over here. That's good. And then we'll get started building another hut on this side. So if I can get another hut built, that sounds super awesome. Oh, I need more broom brush. Any more broom brush around here? There we go. That'll work. And then for this guy, we'll take him and we will drop another house like right there. And work on the building for a little bit. Use the rest of your time to get it done. And then for our next character, Awena. I'll probably have her finish that off too so that we have two of the houses because this seems to be a very real tangible concern to some of our survivors that they don't have housing. And I'm trying to solve that right now. These are not great places to live, but they're better than nothing, which I think at some point is all you can ask for in a survival situation. Clearing this brush out would be fine. It does look like things regrow on the map as far as I can tell, but hey, we got two houses. I will take it. So on day six, uh, she's got nine hours right now. Why did she get nine hours? Maybe they're getting a little bit healthier. We might need hammocks or something. I don't know. You go around and gather up everything we're going to need to make another house today. And so with those three right there, can we get a third done? Yeah, we can actually. Well, then let's do it. I don't know where I want to put this, but... Yeah, we'll put it right there. That seems all right. Work on the building for a couple of hours. Try to get this finished off. I don't know how long these are going to take on this side. i kind of hoping they go through soon because we do not have a lot of food right now. Like we got some blackberries and stuff left, but I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a real concern. Like, I'd be fibbing a little bit. Oh, we built a shitty hut right there. Well, that sucks. But everybody has a house now, so that's good. I mean, that's much less of an issue than it was before. We got a few more things over here that it looks like we can harvest too. So use the rest of the day to grab some blackberries on that side. we got bones right there. Is there anything else that I can reclaim or recycle or anything like that? You can recycle that wood for string. And so I don't think it's a terrible idea for us to kind of just comb across the beach and grab all the stuff that's been docked over here, like washed up on the edge, all the flotsam and jetsam and all that kind of stuff. Got a few more berries on that side. I don't know if you want to plant anything or if you just want to work on the hammock. He needs survival skill, though, adept in order to get the hammock done. 
So that might not be that helpful for right now. Can you at least make strings? He can't even make strings. He doesn't have the adept skill right there. How do I level that up on some of these people so they get better at survival? I can make a fishing rod, but I need bamboo for that. Yeah, let's get the fishing rod. So that's harvestable. But I need to have an axe in order to knock it down. Okay. I'll make another axe so that people can get more tasks done. For right now, for him, crafting-wise, what are we looking at here? We got no tomatoes left. We do have room for a few more things, though. Like we've got eight of the tomato seeds left. I could technically just turn this whole area into a tomato plot. You know, those tomatoes do be plotting. They be out there trying. Just testing people's patience. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll terrace farm a little bit over here. That looks good. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. We ran out of time on that day. One or more villager has no housing. How do I assign houses? Maybe I assign people? Oh, I gotta assign people. I don't even need this place down here. See? So this guy, you can live in there with her. And you can live all by yourself, old man. Everybody has a place to sleep. Good. Perfect. Hopefully that'll bring their rest meters up, and now we'll be a little bit more efficient. I didn't realize. I thought that it was just saying that I had one person left over that hadn't done what they needed to do. Yeah, that did, actually. That bought us a bunch more time to play around with. Okay. Let's start out with our rugged survivalist over here and figure out what he needs in order to make another axe. So we need... So in order to make that, we need bamboo, and we need string, and we need fishing hooks. So what I would say... How do I see what tool? So she got a pickaxe right there. Okay, that makes sense. So this dude's got the axe. Let's go ahead and chop down a tree over here. Yeah, that'll work. That's going to take 12 hours, so he can't even remotely get that started. Just get as much of the bamboo harvested as you can. It's fine. No big worry there. And so his time, he's got one hour left. We'll go gather blackberries. That seems to be the secret. We are surviving almost entirely off of roughage right now, which is actually really, really hard on modern human beings. We're not used to it anymore because we eat so much processed random stuff. But we have seashells over here. Yeah, grab a couple of those. And while we wait, can I recycle the boat? Is that possible? Yeah, recycle the boat then. Grab everything back from the boat that you possibly can. Good. That works out great. I probably need more stockpile space too. Like, I got a funny feeling right now that we don't have enough storage space. So keep expanding that out. The map size is a little bit small. I'd like to see a bigger map, but like, I don't know. We can work on that building, but I don't think we need to right now. I guess you can pump a couple hours into it if you want. No harm, no foul. It's an extra building in case we get new people who move in. Why not? I'm going to grab some more of this brush over here, too, and she's too tired to finish that task. That takes three hours. It takes an hour for us to get fiber and hemp seed. Oh, we got weed plants over here. Yay! We have weed. What were we worried about? Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay, everybody. We're weed farmers now. How long do these actually take to get done? You go out and use your farming skill to get us some berries. Because I don't want to starve to death tonight. And I assume that berries probably don't give us that much hunger back. He's got one hour left. Grab that last berry plant. Cool. Done for the day. Everybody's resting. And hopefully we'll be productive very, very shortly. We'll have people with like a crazy amount of rest all ready to go. It'll be nice. I don't think these houses are as restful as I thought they were going to be though. I think these houses are like whack-ass restful. Oh well. What are you going to do? You, sir, I would like for you to craft another axe. So get that done. That took three hours, but it did give us access to another axe so that we can put people on other tasks and make things happen. Those don't look like they're growing yet. We do have enough string to make a hammock, which I think sounds pretty rad. Like, I don't know what we do with the hammock. Can we build it? What is this? We've got a workshop for metals. We've got a woodworking shop. Over on this side, we've got a fixed fishing rod, which I think is probably a good idea. What is that right there? A spacious dwelling. Okay. I don't see any way for us to actually use the hammock.
Like, is it like an upgrade for one of the houses or something? I don't know what we do with it. Maybe it's not implemented yet. I mean, the game is an alpha, so it's hard to tell. But anyways, this game is called Stormland. I hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. If you like this video, leave a like on it. It helps content creators out more than you know. But other than that, if you wanted to support me a little bit further, I've got a Patreon where you can actually help the channel stay alive. And then on top of that, you can swing through Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming, and I will be there every single day of the week. I miss days every now and again because YouTube is like my main job, you know what I mean? So like if YouTube stuff comes up, I gotta do what I gotta do, but I stream six days a week over there. And so I'd love to have you. Take care, everybody, and I will see you later.